This is where my career began 10 years ago, just weeks before September 11th, 2001. Today, things look a little different here at the CBS News Broadcast Center, but my old office and the relationships I made here still remain. This is Melissa Serrano, a former co-worker and a friend, and a big part of my September 11th story. That morning started like any other with a bus ride to work until I overheard another passenger say a plane had hit the World Trade Center. I crossed the street, checked the monitors in the lobby, and saw the North Tower up in flames. In my office, I found Melissa on the phone with her mom. Her dad, William Valcarcel, worked in the South Tower. She said, I know everybody's just waking me up, but I just spoke to your father. He said he was fine. It was not his building. He told me not to worry. She hung up and we got to work. Phone calls began flooding in from news producers who knew they'd need video of the towers before the accident. Then the unthinkable, another plane, another crash, another telephone call. And I was kind of frozen for a little bit and then I picked up the phone and I called my dad and I left him a message. I know you're probably really busy right now, um, but call me because we're worried. That message was never returned. Melissa waited for a car service to take her home, confused and afraid. At Ground Zero, the rescue and recovery effort continued around the clock with no sign of William. It was a few days before I went home to my family, feeling grateful that it hadn't been touched by the tragedy. During that time, seeing the photos and flyers of lost loved ones was the hardest part for me, what seemed like endless appeals for help. On September 13th, those appeals hit home when I saw Melissa begging for help on local TV. He's a paraplegic. He has a, a knee fusion on his left leg. He wears a shoe, a black shoe with a three inch sole on his left leg. He cannot walk down the stairs. He needs help getting out. Rescue workers eventually found William's bone fragments, allowing Melissa's family to have a proper burial. They had the street she grew up on named William Valcarcel Place in honor of her dad. Melissa soon left CBS. When she got married, I was there. And later on, Facebook allowed her to share pictures of her growing family. Just months ago, another national event brought all the memories back. The night that um, President Obama came out and said that bin Laden had been killed. And I was on the desk that night, and uh, I just remember thinking about you a lot. My husband calls me, get up, this is real. And I said, OK. I turned on the TV, began to call my sister, and no sooner did she pick up the phone that I just break out in tears. While she's happy Osama bin Laden is gone, it won't bring her dad back. It's a loss she will never recover from. As time has passed, it's gotten harder for me because there's times in my life when I want him there, I want him, and he's not there. And so that reality for me has been tough. So even 10 years later, I still struggle as we remember the 10th anniversary as a nation, I will remember William, the thousands of others who lost their lives, and where I was when I realized the world would never be the same. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. I love you too.